engaged. <laughs> this is your daily catch up. Congratulations to us because we just hit 80,000 subscribers Ooh. and we are on our way to 100k so we'll be very grateful if you can be part of that journey go down below for a few seconds click the subscribe be part of the 100k gang 100k gang on to the episode Shelves of the market That's great news for all men out there hey, Some Except commenters Elvin. will not be happy about that So Shelves got proposed to on day 3 of her 2 week trip to New Zealand Congratulations Shermaine Wong Were you, Shame, were you surprised? Not really no. Rate your proposal on a scale of 1 to 10 Eh, hey, it's with the right person so it's a 10 out of 10 wow. Means not good Means not good <laughs> Cut the episode already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Husband. So you, if you, if it wasn't a surprise to you, how did you think he was gonna do it, and did he do it that way? I was expecting him to do like propose during the trip, mm. but I don't know when. So the whole trip, right? It was me. Is it here? Eh? No. Then we drive again. Drive off another place. Is it here? Would you have <laughs> been disappointed, right? Would you have been disappointed if he went? Oh my God, she knows. So I'm purposely not gonna propose to her this trip. Wow, the marriage is going off to a great start. <laughs> because the See, place is so, so beautiful. So then Bopian, right? It'll be perfect. This is why it's so difficult to propose to a girl. Because they when they expect it, right, there's no winning already. Okay, okay. so 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 for the audience, uh, <laughs> in case we, they just get completely <laughs> lost, uh, um this episode we're gonna talk a little bit about proposals, proposing, whether a girl should propose to a guy, is that okay? Will you all accept um how you should propose? Surprises, whatever. Should you film your proposal or should it be private? Mm. Or should proposals questions? just not be done? So Shams has been dating for four years. Eh? Four oh, years. That's oh my god. god. <laughs> four years plus plus plus. And who made the first move? Him. I who think. is the richer? Who is the settler? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Traps. <laughs> she nearly wanted to answer. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 but you say no. we cut out. We will bleep it. What? I'm the settler. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I oh. talked to him about this. Many times. He knows? Yeah, I said you're so lucky to have me, eh? Check. That's not That's on. very ah, different from like, saying wow. like disgusting. cringe. Yeah. Very cringe. <laughs> Beef. Okay, Shams was Shams was already like gonna go on this New Zealand trip. Everybody know already. Mm. So then she's going with her partner and her family. aunts. My aunts. Some family members. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, some yeah. friends also. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a weird mix. Weird mix, ah. <laughs> first, first clue. So then right, every time during lunch, right, we were already kinda like Disturbing, disturbing a bit. That, uh, this is the he's gonna propose, right? He's gonna propose, right? They then, even have a flash mob dance prepared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to play to Bruno Mars, marry. Uh, no, Jason Derulo's marry me, yeah. But we can't do it for copyright reasons. No, the, the, the twist, right, was that didn't Elvin like recruit some people from the office to like, hey, can you like help me out and make sure that Sherm oh. doesn't know? So yeah, John I didn't was recruited know. and John does not have the tightest lips in the office. <laughs> <Doesn't>. <laughs> That's how I found out. That's how I found <laughs> out. <laughs> so then what happened from like everyone instigating that mm. oh it's going to happen to suddenly now everyone's invested in you not knowing that it was going to happen. And also don't tell John a secret. <laughs> 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 so from your perspective, what was the first clue? What was the first hint? I talked to Denise about this many times. Okay, the first hint, uh, the first hint, right? That's why I played first... a big part in this proposal, guys. Okay, well done, well mm. done. Okay, okay, okay. My big, my first aunt, right, cannot shut up also. <laughs> so, 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 um, Elvis' oh, biggest yeah. mistake, right, to tell her first. And then she got so excited, right, she texted him the next day. Like, oh my God, about the proposal. But at the same time, he was showing me his phone about some meme video or something. And then, <laughs> now I pretended not to see. Wow. wow. So you had full certainty words. that he was going to propose. La. <laughs> Maybe they were sexting then to cover it up, she faster at like that last message. <laughs> 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 then when we were joking about it in the office, eh? It was just a joke. It was. It didn't feel like it was going to happen. It feels like... Because I think I started a conversation. I said, oh my god, I think it's a proposal. So it wasn't them who, who started right, a conversation. Right, right. So it didn't feel oh. sus. And I also thought that I wouldn't be one of those girls on... I will cry, that kind of thing. But... I was so shocked by my reaction, okay, when I when it happened. When no, he, can you describe yeah, the whole yeah. thing so, and then okay. up to your reaction? Let's hear it. Reaction. What happened? Okay. <laughs> okay, so now it's day three. So day three, we climbed the stupid... Okay, sorry. I Wait, mean, we it, climbed it, a so where are you? Where are you? Is it cold? New Zealand, very cold. Temperature. Okay. Very cold. Okay, okay. And then like uh, at Hooker Valley, the <laughs> what? <and laughs> <it's laughs> called, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. You really picked the is right place to go with me. Hooker Valley is a trail. He chose out of all places to propose to you at Hooker Valley. Because he was there for another reason. Oh shit, I got caught. 
<laughs> it was one of the most beautiful places there. Like oh. it was on uh, Mount, I, I know that. Mount yeah. Cook, which is one of the tallest mountain in I, I, New Zealand. Yeah. Mount Cook is great. He, because he had no time to go and QC the place first, right? <laughs> Recky. Recky the place, sorry. Recky the place. Wait, people usually do Amateur. that. Amateur. No, yeah. I didn't. No, you Recky went in your bedroom. Uh. <laughs> Just go to craigslist.nz. Dot co dot NZ, and then confirm yes, the people that will do anything for money. On. <laughs> it's okay, true yeah, though. Maybe yeah, it's a good thing. Hooker, street, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, New Zealand is a country. Like yeah. No, yeah, so then we climbed all the way. Right? He thought the end at the the end of the trail, right, is going to be a very beautiful place. He thought. It was okay, but then the sun was facing behind. It was sun right behind us, so the photos were, we were dark. We were like backlitted. So you cannot really see a lot of stuff. I so want to see the original photo. You yeah, very happy. So. <laughs> okay. you know, that's why we had to retake again like another place. I thought that another location was more beautiful. But anyways, right. okay, the proposal. Okay. So he was doing this TikTok thing with my cousin. They like kind of like discussed this already that we were going to do like a, this couple couple TikTok trend where we just keep falling and falling and falling mm. perpetually mm. until like something happens, right? Until he proposed. Um, so I thought oh, like, I thought oh. it was going to be I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> So I kept doing the video video, right? Then at the end, he wanted to do it at the, at the spot. So he did the video with me. Off the cliff. It was not, it was not the cliff. It was like a <laughs> river, iced river place. So then he, the before I turned over, right? He went on his knee. Lah. He went on his knees and Wait, then- over, as like, as so we turned over. Like, because we were like this. And then, then he on the floor faster fall. take out the yeah, ring. Yeah, and exactly then. that. <laughs> Exactly that. Yeah, so then I turned around. Then I just like, oh my god, I knew it, I knew it. That was your reaction. Yeah, I knew yeah. it. Wow. I couldn't help. You couldn't, I couldn't give him that in. moment, right? <laughs> I couldn't no, but give how were you really feeling? So then I thought I was not going to feel very, all the, all the jitters and all that, right? But then when he starts saying his oh, he prepares oh, he speech, he he speech. I can't remember. He's something like, <laughs> well, hey, I want skewed, a, skewed, something yeah. along the lines of, um, I want to spend... The rest of my life with you? <laughs> Mark, I wrote that. No, <laughs> <laughs> like something along the lines of, I, I, every day I fall in love with you more and more and I want to do this for the rest of my life or something and I can't remember the exact words. Then, coming- Honestly, a lot of women, they don't remember like their speech. Yeah. Because then I started crying. <laughs> like, cannot be. I said, cannot be. Don't video this. This is not me. <laughs> like, I started crying. Then to him, it was a yes, I, Ironically, <laughs> this is the most you ever because it's your natural reaction. Yeah, Good job, man. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Wait, after that you got to say yes. Uh, yeah. No, no, he said so you say yes or not? <laughs> so la. Say, I knew it, I knew uh, it. <laughs> but the tears becoming icicles by that point of time. Well done, congratulations. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. I know you, I know we made fun of you about it, but we're yeah, very but happy. We are happy. Yeah, but we are happy. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. So then that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But maybe, the yeah, maybe. friends and family remember. and cousin <laughs> are not there. Never mind, got a door and lock can already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> confirm uh, these two. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the result of the room very close. Ring. <laughs> so in what scenario would you have said no? Oh, great question. So we have. No, no, no. Because I told him I didn't like those like very big kind of uh, public engagement kind of proposal. How many we practice this dance for so long? <laughs> yeah, so I was a bit worried. But I don't think, honestly, I don't think I would say no. I will want to protect him first. Like, oh. I don't want him to look bad. So you just say and yes to I will say yes, protect but his ego. But I'll be upset. I'll tell him after that, why do you do this? Then would you say no in, in private after that? No, I won't say no. Like, I mean, uh. I want to marry him. But uh. like, why did he do uh. it this way? No, it's like yeah. how you felt about Ned. It's like now she, he is the most important thing in her life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've come to that realization. Uh. Like, now you're married. Uh, marriage thing. <laughs> Good. You owe me $50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Very important question here because is it okay for your girlfriend to propose to you? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for a petulant child. Yeah? No. <laughs> Back to the episode. Better than being single. Right? There's been an uptrend of like women proposing, right? And mm. I think while well, on one hand, it's, it mm. almost looks like women taking, so-called taking matters into their own hands or in a sense like, I'm not sure whether it's some form of frustration or being tired of waiting. But then they have, I've seen comments about how men feel like, oh, this is unfair to them because they are not ready and then now they feel pressured to like, in a sense, propose back or then rush into marriage. Yeah, mm. because you see, right, the situations in which a f- woman proposes to a man, right, when does that occur? It usually occurs when the guy is not ready. Because mm. if the guy were to be and you're communicated already, it will happen sooner or later and, and the guy will probably be willing to do it. Yeah. So the, most of the time, the circumstances in which a female has to propose is when the guy is like, no, I'm not ready to propose. Then you are going to pressure me into it with, with this. Yeah. Hence, a lot of people actually say that if a female proposes, it's actually like a very big red flag. 
But then so my question- But this question, what the internet say, uh, not me. Uh. <laughs> so my question is, why are men always not ready? Men always not ready? It's, it's not that they're always not ready. Like, why are we always waiting for the men to be ready? Why is the timeline <laughs> determined by the men? No, I think because- I, But I don't- Okay, I think it's a lot more nuanced than that. <laughs> you are both discussing it, right? Uh. At the same time, and then feeling each other out, and then- <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then after that, maybe you'll talk a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you're cuddle first. So <laughs> then- Platonically. Then, then no. from there, you will be able to... <laughs> Wait, who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> who so do you have picture in your head yeah. when you're talking about this? No, no after you're done with the friend, then you go and find your partner, <laughs> then you talk to her about yeah. it. Yeah. No, so like, <laughs> it's a lot more nuanced than that. Ma. It's the ability to sense that are you also ready for this next stage, mm. right? And then from there, then the proposal is initiated. So the situation in which you are describing, it seems like they are not communicating properly. And then the proposal really comes as a surprise. Correct. In which case, and if it really is a f***ing surprise uh, in that sense, uh, isn't that a major red flag? Because so you are not the same page. should Huge. not be surprises. No. The when it happens, yeah. is the surprise. Correct. So like, similar to this, like, where you were expecting already means that you both are ready already for it. Honestly, right? So for the two of you who have proposed, right? Mm. In the moment, right? Was there like that? 1% chance 10% of doubt <laughs> it was 10% <laughs> what the fuck wait serial, serial. we cut it out I think only because right so when I went to grab the ring because of I'm like this timing. is awesome this is the perfect time <laughs> and then as I went down on one knee I went because it was right after Shisha I've shared about this already we can link the previous episode right Nice. I went <laughs> fuck maybe this is not the time she wants me to propose uh. then it's not what she had in her head I went did I f*** this up? But then after that, yeah, it was so fine. But she was like okay? the moment. No, and I think, yeah, if I remember this correctly, right, after I already asked the question and I said something that I honestly, I can't remember what I said. All I remember was, this is fucking awesome mm. and she's responding correctly because she's crying. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> Ouch. Um, it's like, she was, she was taking damn long to respond because she just kept crying and crying and crying. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's a Why yes, no? right? <laughs> because she's been waiting yeah. forever. Yeah. It's exactly a trauma that. release. But what, what was the expectation? Did she feel like, after that, right, after the, the whole proposal, right, did you ask her like, if this was what she expected, this kind of proposal? Yeah, yeah. It was, because she definitely wanted something that was spontaneous. Like something that we only, it was private and spontaneous was the brief. Okay. Mm. Honestly, that hit the brief very yeah, well. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I, I always like hitting brief. Wait, for you, for you, eh? Yeah, so my proposal was the brief was also no cameras. No cameras. No cameras. Uh private and yeah, do it whenever you want now because we had a discussion already. Do it whenever you want. <laughs> Can I just say in hindsight, right, even though Ned also told me no cameras, yeah. I feel right that you will regret it five years from now because you I want his to be very private. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that point of mind really like why do we need photos no no I, I get it and I'm someone that always loves to live in, in the, the moment, moment right sometimes when I you go uh, concert you use phone no no so that was the, the example I was going to lead to right there was a point of time where every concert I would take of like video and whatever and then there was one point of time where I was a huge fan of Ed Sheeran don't judge me I'm sorry it's fine Ed Sheeran's fine <laughs> and so so the whole Ed Sheeran concert right I decided I'm not going to take a single video fast forward four years after right I kept telling Ned you know, I really wish I ever saw, like I wish I watched Ed Sheeran. Then she was like, what are you talking about? <sighs> and I repeated this multiple times. I don't remember going to Ed Sheeran because I haven't gone and watched back the concert. His performances are just that forgettable. La. That too. But like, I, and I can't remember any part of the whole thing. And I feel like with my proposal, even though it was such a monumental thing, my memory of it is slowly waning. Like, you know, mm. if you see the, <laughs> the, the timeline, there right? might be a deeper problem there. Uh, <laughs> that's true. But then again, like as you get older, you just want to create that memory. And that's why a proposal should be as simple as possible. Because all I was was in a field of grass with our dog and then I proposed. That's so easy to remember. You why won't have just one photo. Grass? Because I wanted my dog there. Wait, wait, you haven't answered the question. Wait, Were you... What? 100% sure I was uh, or was there an inkling of doubt <laughs> <laughs> sorry the brown station just threw me off <laughs> yes, it should, like. no I was completely 100% sure how bullshit yeah. how as cliches Wait. as it sounds okay. when you know you know la. no uh, okay so here's the thing about dating in your 30s alright <laughs> both are desperate <laughs> <laughs> let, me put it a, let me put it in a <laughs> let me put it in a better way la. it's like after dating in your 20s you kind of 
know what you want and what you don't want already. And so every time, that's why every relationship is a learning experience. And then after that, once you reach, once I reached 30 and I met her, <laughs> everything aligned. Yeah, that's the no, one. But was it aligned for her? How yes, do you know it, it was. was. Like, it how do you know? know? How do you this? I want to this. ask, can you leave a comment <laughs> in the video? Like how many percent were you? <laughs> uncertain <laughs> and, and how much how many percent do you believe Jerry's story <laughs> <laughs> no I'm talking to the wife <laughs> do you not like surprises like in general no I love surprises no I but you should always make the ring so that they know exactly what they want on their finger and then you're giving them that I wholeheartedly disagree at 1000 percent I feel like early on in your relationship both of you should just drop hints about whatever you guys want and then put it in a chat with a searchable keyword so you can find it out later and then forget about it. Like Ring Tesla. size, whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good for birthdays also, by the way. Uh, and then <laughs> figure it out later on. Fucked because up. the surprise, right, is unforgettable. Except for me, because like my mind. So when we made the rings, right, after we made the rings, then I went to collect it myself and she didn't know whether it was still being made or was still being collected or whatever. Oh. And then, so the surprise is... It's not the if, it's the when. And I, I had this thing where I would fake her out with ring pops. Yeah, very cliche. Right, yeah. Right. So oh, you tortured her for yeah, I tortured her for about three duration. Months. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like, like you bend down to tie your shoelace kind of thing? Mm, uh, yeah, we'll no, be watching past... Out his ass. <laughs> we'll, we'll be walking past Orchard Road and then like, I'll just take out... like, Yeah, I think it's time. And I take out the ring pop. And she's like, ah, you mother <laughs> you. But then I 3D printed a ring pop ring holder. And then I proposed to her with that ring pop. That's so smart. Wait, what's a ring pop? Wait, will y'all be impressed? Is a candy <laughs> on the <laughs> ring? <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant lollipop in the it's ring. Exactly yeah. how it but then the ring on top this <laughs> time can open. Yeah. So she thinks it's a joke, but then this time it's real. <laughs> That's so sweet. Ah. Wait, really? Really? You all think it's sweet? Yeah. No, so it's if literally your partner sweet. constantly <laughs> fake proposals to you, you're, you're okay? Actually, I'll be damn annoyed by like, okay, I, I don't want to marry you. Okay, already. I did it twice. I did it twice. Okay, he exaggerated it for the show. Thank okay, you. wait, Denise disagrees that it should also be a surprise. Yeah, Why? I think it should 100% be a surprise. Wait, I thought you disagreed Thank you. <laughs> Eat my <laughs> ass. <laughs> 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 Not that kind of surprise. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> too far, too far. <laughs> so the rest of the trip, extra happy? Like, yes. w was there a different a change in like mood and <laughs> no. fight? Uh? Oh, he was a bit upset because like on some days I didn't wear the ring. <laughs> like, excuse me, we were doing skiing. We were doing like riding the luge. How am I supposed to sacrifice the ring and, you know, good potentially lose it? Good save lah. Do, do you feel different now having the ring on? No. Do you, do you play with it? As in, do you feel different after you get married? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> like as in, there's, there's, okay, there's something to fiddle with. Uh. Oh yeah, oh, right, yeah, I love oh to feel God, it. I just realized we are sitting, not engaged in um, No, no, because when, when we engage, don't we don't him. wear anything, ma, so that we have nothing on our hands. Oh, I don't know about you, you wore a ring, is it? No, I didn't wear a ring. Yeah, uh, but I, I know that when Jared proposed, right, he started referring to his fiance as his wife, which was a bit weird. Um, it's what you do. Uh. Wait, fiance, <laughs> maybe? There's a word for no, it. No, it's weird. La. No, just call him your wife. La. Oh. Agree, disagree? <laughs> you look so excited, like hopeful yeah, when you look at us. Wait, so you, you only feel different because of the ring? Without the ring? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I feel different also. <laughs> like, stop undermining We were talking about love. physically because there's a ring there. Do they feel different? And like, to me, yeah, lah, there's something to fiddle with now. Lah. If you go into a club, will you take out your ring? What the what f? Flying the f <laughs> oh, Wait, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I might because <laughs> wow, because wow, when you're dancing or anything, right, you scared you lose the ring. <laughs> that excuse does Terrible. not fly. No, really? I don't I'm buy serious. it. You are basically advertising to the world. Yeah. Come and talk to me. No, I'm not. I'm just saying I will tell people that I'm engaged. When they when they're grinding you with. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I just don't want to lose the I'm ring. I'm not married. Is that what you're going to say when you enter the club? No. I. Wait, wait, wait. Will you be with Elvin when you go club and take off your ring? Like, okay, will Elvin be okay if you go club alone without him with your friends mm. and you take off the ring? Will he be okay? But well, he wouldn't know. <laughs> Wait. Elvin, run. I just got engaged, guys. Don't let it. Here's the counter. You guys are married. He yes. wears a wedding ring. Yes. He's okay. now going clubbing with his friends. Mm. Do you think it's okay for him to remove his wedding ring? 
No, you can. I tell you, I oh. say. <laughs> Don't I say you burn the reason. Reason. You try. This this <laughs> ring, right? The reason why I need to take out, right? Because it's protruding out. I have been I've been telling him, right? Just get me a flat one, so I will wear it, ma. Then I, it won't feel like I will lose it or potentially wow. hook on something. You know? Yeah, we didn't do enough. Something, yeah, this thing, right? Like, yeah. like a clothes or something. Someone pull, pull it, pull off, pull it off. Then so he got you the wrong ring. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's still beautiful, but I'm just explaining if he is. But it's not functional and practical, lah. Yes, correct. So correct. what but you're saying is that <laughs> when, you guys, <laughs> when you're married and you get to choose your own ring, which is something that's flat, mm, I will choose a flat one. You will wear your wedding ring to a club. Yes, sure. Wedding band, uh, wedding band. Uh, wedding band. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will wear. It, I wear it to the club. You. D- I <laughs> why would I be in the club? I'm 30, 30 years old already. Yeah, why? Why are you <laughs> still going? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, maybe my friend's birthday or something. Like. In defense of uh, taking out your ring occasionally. Ah, uh, yeah, I lost my ring because my wife <laughs> See? didn't. <laughs> See. So I was going for an overseas trip to celebrate someone else's wedding mm. and then I to Bali and then I told my wife, I said I, I don't trust myself. I think I'm going to lose it. And don't she's, trust yourself? Yeah, I don't trust myself. Like, I'm... Is I, this I, really about the ring? <laughs> yeah. No, I lose shit. Were you at also at Hooker Street? Hooker <laughs> <laughs> Valley. Whatever you want to call it. Hooker's Valley. Anyway, she said like, <laughs> then, then she like, huh, why you don't wear the ring? You don't want people to think you're married, man? And I say, okay, fine, I'll wear the ring. And then two hours later, I lost the ring. Wait, how do you oh. lose it wearing it? On purpose, ah? Yeah, oh. <laughs> the proper point. Huh? The ring is flat, you shouldn't lose it so easily. No, I went to the Tanamera Ferry Terminal, then I thought the metal detector in your take out ring. So I took it out and I lost it. But as in, it went through the machine and then come out, don't have your ring. Yeah, I put it in my bag and then it disappeared. Oh, you put it in your bag. You see? Yeah. If you put it back <coughs> on your finger Correct. after the Or if I just didn't bring the ring from you start, go back like to the I ferry terminal, then you see the security guard. <laughs> Hold up. You wanted to not bring a ring to the entire trip as opposed to going for the trip and then removing it in certain situations. Huh? That's... Yeah, I'd rather not bring the whole thing, right? I, yeah, I, that's what my plan was to not bring the whole thing. Huh? Wow, that's crazy. No, I saw I, I basically have friends, right, whose wife have told them you are not allowed to remove the ring under any circumstance. Mm. And they are still attached. <laughs> they, they are still attached. That's a reflect. He's still attached to the ring. That's what love looks like. Personally <laughs> for me, it's a it's a luck thing. And I don't know if saying it will <laughs> remove it. But like so when I I, I play goalkeeper on Sundays, right? So the first the first football match I had after getting married, I removed it and then wore my gloves and everything and played goalkeeper, yeah, huh? right? Let in two stupid goals. Really stupid goals. Goals that I've never considered before in my life. Really, yeah, really yeah, horrible ones. The ring. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, right, I always wear my ring to play and we've never lost a match. And since I, I it's oh. not dangerous, like the ball. But he also shoot. never really played much in it. <laughs> no, because I, I, I wear gloves. I'm oh, a goalkeeper. Yeah. So, did you all ask your partner, his parent, did you ask your future in-laws for Cons- permission for the hand? <laughs> so not by the ask pronunciation. your parents. <laughs> Did Elvin get permission from your parents? The shocking thing is no. It's shocking because I thought he would. Like. <laughs> what? Exactly. I hope my parents don't watch this. <laughs> what? You're not going to tell them? Your parents don't know that you're no, engaged. No, no, no. Yeah, so they didn't know until like days later that I told them like, because my aunt very eager to post. <laughs> then I'm like, okay. Then I just, tell my, I just took a photo and then sent to my family. Yeah, but anyway, my siblings know. He told my siblings and he wanted to ask. It's not the same though. He wanted to talk to my parents about it. But my family members say like, I don't need like, what if they like give you more trouble or like, then don't need, don't need. Or so is it your what siblings dissuaded him? <laughs> yeah, but so my, every, my aunt, your my siblings, siblings dissuaded him. Yeah, everyone lah. So oh. then he didn't. So I thought it wouldn't matter to me. Then when, he, when I asked him, oh, do you ask my parents about it? Then he said no. I felt a bit, a bit upset. Yeah. Like yeah. I thought. I'm with you on this one. I no, why, why, was, why, why? Why upset? Um... I mean, I'm, I'm still processing why, but I think um, I wanted to share, I wanted my parents to feel excited for me, be happy with me. You know? Yeah. But before but you know. Before I know. Because like, after that, they want, find I out want them happy to happy for you, ma. Wait, is it really that, or rather because it feels as though that is the procedure, the process it's that a you have to get thing. blessing from your parents yeah. out of respect and then ask you, and it feels like maybe you feel like he chickened out a little bit by not asking or didn't go through the, the due process? No, like, it's more like... Because um, uh, I don't have a very beautiful relationship with my parents also. I see. Yeah, mm. so that I can understand why he didn't do it. So that's why I thought I wouldn't be bothered by it. Okay. But when he didn't, then I thought like... I don't know why he felt like, huh, why you never... Why? Just ask lah. Why cannot just ask? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but I understand lah. I understand. Mm. You <coughs> 
Oh, I definitely asked my. <laughs> I, why? I, why? Why did it matter to you to ask? Because this is the f- she's the oldest daughter, number one, and so and the only daughter, by the way. So I I just felt like. <laughs> No matter what, she'll be the oldest because she's the only. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, I should have only used one. <laughs> but like... Second one. So I just felt like it was respectful if I'm going to take your daughter's hand in marriage to ask you guys. Uh, just, just inform, uh, actually. Uh, so was, how do you do it? Over text? Uh? No, I met them. Uh, I actually just went to a house with her. And then we just sat them down huh? and then we, yeah. So she knew. No, they make the ring together. They make the ring together. Oh, that's, that's lame. No, I wanted. I no. Sorry. I thought of doing that thing of like, uh, uh, hi uncle. I just show up one day randomly without like. <laughs> no, 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 there's ways to do it. <laughs> 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 what? What? This is so it. Yeah, but they live in Jurong lah, and I live in Pasir, so it's very far. That alone is the cost you <laughs> have to pay. <laughs> 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 yeah, the cost of one cafe. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can drive some more. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollar. <people>. So annoying. <laughs> so For, you you asked when she was there. So she knew that you were going to ask. You all were going because there to meet the parents to ask. Yeah, we approached this marriage thing like as a team from the get-go already. It's like, are we going to get married? Yes. yes. Okay, let's just do everything together. Uh, because she, I think she also wanted to have like, yeah, like she doesn't like, she likes control. Uh, then in this case, wasn't the, the very first like, are we going to get married? That's your proposal. Yeah, I, so guess, in, I guess in some way it was. You proposed before asking your parents. <laughs> Mm. I'm a fine gentleman. <laughs> the disrespect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my mine was very much because um okay la, there were two things. One is that I felt like I wanted to do it out of respect to the parents. I respect the parents a lot. So and also because I think it mattered a lot to Ned that I had gotten her blessing. dad and mom's blessing first. Because it would feel like I, I think personally for me I also regretted a little bit that we signed up for a BTO before Ooh. asking her parents. Or, bef- oh, or BTO oh, oh. before asking. Yeah, can, uh, they want, they want can, uh. you're all BTO before asking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh. Yeah, hey, and hey, I hey, felt like no. the, the way that it was informed also probably wasn't the best. So it was very much something so that there was a precedent. A lot to me. I mean, like, w- even if we had told them before the BTO, I, th- I still would have asked the parents first for blessing. Like, I felt like that was an important step. No, but did you feel that, I mean, given that it's so important to Ned, was it because there was a tinge that her parents might object? Mm. Uh, no, I don't think it was so much about objecting, but I also wanted them to be involved in the process. Mm. Like it didn't right, feel like right. it was just the two of us like yeah. doing our own thing. Right. I'm going to enter your family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The thing. So that's what I wanted. My <laughs> and and also I think Please. it was imp- yeah. language. <laughs> it was important for me to know if there was anything that they wanted from me. You know, like yeah. any expectation. It's, it's almost like a formality and respect for what you think the parents. Um, treasure or yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so that step is more for the parents and your relationship with the parents more so than anything else. Yeah. I, feel. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say it's hmm. asking for the hand in marriage even. I feel like it's just informing them. Yeah, yeah but even... Yeah, 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 but out of like respect for yeah, like, out of what respect they la. believe. Mm. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's, you, you guys are going to be family at the end of the day. How are you going to kick off that relationship? No, yeah, I also want to mention that because, because my parents didn't know, but his parents knew. So his mom, right, was part of this whole thing and then she was hiding the ring for him. When we went back to his place, right, what made me feel very welcome and like so touched, right, was that when we went back, his mom, his parents, right, cleaned up like part of the room so that I had more space <gasps> to put my wardrobe. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. You can move in really. I nice. was so touched, eh. I didn't show it, but I didn't know how to say it, but I just feel like, oh my God. You burst out crying. Eh. This is not me. This is not me. <laughs> me. I mean, th- thank you would have sufficed, la, but... I, I, oh, okay, don't I go say thank you. Huh? <laughs> no, I didn't know, but... So, both but do, so y'all don't really communicate well with yeah. the <laughs> in-laws? In, yeah, the parents <laughs> side, I think, very difficult. She no, but which, honestly, it's understandable. Yeah. Like, not everybody comes from a it's background true. where their family it's and their relationship with yeah. their parents is amazing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. in those circumstances, I can completely understand why maybe at the end of the day, you just don't feel like there's a need to. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But having this conversation, I think it's quite interesting. Like, I feel like I, as long as me and my partner are on the same page in terms of what everything means to us, like marriage or like all these, right, the concepts mean to us, right? And we are not bound or shackled by like the need to perform or pro- go through certain rituals like that for the sake of them, right? Mm. I would honestly consider like just surprising my partner with a proposal, even <gasps> though the two of us are like agreeable that maybe like we don't need it. Because I think it'll be just quite a sweet, like nice 
experience as well. Oh, just, for, right. just for the capitalism of it all. We have character arc in this <laughs> JP's <laughs> romantic season. <laughs> because I can get the, like how like, you create experiences and moments in your life, right? So no, but what if some, that is something like. that she really don't want, then you do it. <laughs> then she's like, what the? I feel like he the would then do it more. The one time JP tries to do something nice. anger in the reaction. And the makeup sex. More than worth it. <laughs> <laughs> What the f- f- are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Turned on by this. <laughs> but I'm so happy it's there's a, a, a there's a human side. <laughs> she said I'm so happy there's a human there. There's a human there. I'm cool, so cool, happy. Cool. You go and say thank you to your in-laws first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Where's the point of JP la, yeah. wow. But do you discuss like marriage with Elvin already? Yeah, 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 of course. Like <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did. Like so we did talk about whether this was gonna be like uh The end. Forever thing. What is BTO? Wait, 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 wait. You guys BTO la, right? Oh, BTO doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Now this BTO. BTO. <laughs> now this kid's got money. <laughs> BTO already after that. Hey, never mind. Don't, don't, nah. But the problem is that you pay for so many things out of pocket and there's like a lot of it's fines true. and penalties. So you more or less know it's just a matter of time, not whether it's going to happen or not. Or within a year, you can find another And then just take over. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. You sound very experienced <laughs> in this. <laughs> BTOs what? have made proposals <laughs> so boring. Huh? Hey, I agree. really? Only in Singapore, uh, that you can get this kind of- they're already living together. In their parents' house. <laughs> 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 I don't know, la, but yeah. No, la, I feel like BTO, I've, it's the only loss there, right, is the money, even though it's a big amount, and yeah. uh, obviously very hard pain still, but I'd rather lose that money than risk, oh, no, sacrifice my lifetime of happiness. So you had that forever conversation before you BTO, la, correct? After. After we beat you. <laughs> but before the proposal. Before proposal. That doesn't count. You yeah, that's exactly it. what we're saying. Uh, okay, sh- okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Sure. To, to give an international perspective, because I think important, uh, is Malaysia. that right, looking at like my friends in Malaysia, my friends in Australia, there is pros and cons about not having a BTO system. One is that when they really propose after 12 years of being together, it's really quite a surprise. And like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting this because we can just be partners, ma, mm-hmm. right? But the uncertainty is that I know of friends who have been together for like 13 years, 15 years, and then break up because there was no like certainty that to you, I'm forever. I, for Aww. me, we're forever. So <coughs> having that BTO, even though it's like going to take about six years, some, now sometimes 10 years now it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. So that helps with the certainty in your mind. So how long do you think is a reasonable amount of time to wait before you have that certainty appear? According to my pastor, <laughs> <laughs> it's two the years because it's enough to for you to get to know someone, but then still short enough for you to continue dating the person while in marriage. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I proposed to my wife one year wife. after meeting yeah, her. But that's because yeah. you're desperate, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, already <laughs> don't know what to do. <laughs> You're undermining him. Attack. Hey, why are you I'm undermining single, him? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> because you talk about that feeling, right? Mm. Why is it that there is a need for this to 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 solidify that feeling? Shouldn't you already kind of know that you all are gonna be each other's forever? Okay, this is gonna sound like a bad thing, right? But you have this thing that that ties you guys together, as opposed to <laughs> when. <laughs> <laughs> it still sounds like a bad thing. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know, but sometimes at the end of the day, right, a marriage is a contract. commitment. It's an action. <laughs> it's a, it's love. Obviously, love is a huge part of it, but there has to be some like level of logic and soundness to it. It's like a it. tangible promise. Correct. And but I think when you have really this video, me. like, can you just be together? You can, but then, like, for example, you can be together for twelve years, and then suddenly. One day, right, all it takes is a fight for someone to just go, you know, I'm sick and tired of this shit. I'm walking away. And it might not have been big enough to really cause a breakup, but because of the build up, right, you you just walk away from a relationship or your boyfriend leaves you and then you're like, fuck, what do I do now? There was nothing that makes you go, am I overthinking this? I don't have to walk away, what? Because we got a BTO. Then you come to your senses a little bit faster. But so many people, so many, so many couples that shouldn't be couples or stay couples continue the no. relationship because of the BTO. No, no, no. So so you have situations, right, in which people BTO and then they really break up and forgo the BTO, right? Then good because you knew that the relationship had a big enough problem to have foregone the BTO. Correct. You're not supposed to be together. But not having something there 
to actually decide. Like, what's the the worst thing that could happen is that you get married, you have kids, and then you use the kids to be the thing that ties you together when you shouldn't be together. Louis C.K. said this. <laughs> he said, uh, after I got married, then I thought like, oh, fuck, now I'm never going to be able to leave. Then after that, then when he had a kid, then he realised that, no, no, no. Now I cannot <laughs> leave. The door was there all yeah. along. <laughs> I should have taken. Honestly, right? Safe. It's not like there are not enough buyers. So why can't they just switch up the process a little bit so that your BTO purchase is later in the process? What you know what I mean? mean? Huh? No, but people want to move out and live with their wife ASAP. So they want it earlier. Which no, is no, why no, we no. brought resale. Yeah. The, 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 the time from purchase until moving in right. is very far. Oh. But is there really actually a need to, to have it be so far away? There, there are options like um, <laughs> sale of balanced flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which or I resale. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But because if they're building from yeah. scratch, then like it takes very long to build. <laughs> no, but you don't have to purchase it at that point, you see. Like yeah. why do the sales need to happen oh, then? That's quite, it's called, it's called build to order. Yeah, but what he's so, saying is that the sales can be happening halfway and when like the building is almost done already two years before it's completed why does it have to oh, be five years before it's, it's completed oh, okay, okay. Oh. because if we are saying yeah. it kills the romance of knowing like three to five years in advance yeah, yeah. that we are already going to be together mm-hmm. but then this is just a weird thing that we still follow like maybe there was a period of time where no one was there was buying. not enough demand yeah. and so they had to wait for supply but now Surprise. that isn't the case right. so but I think now it's the reverse case that now too much. essentially There's in order to create that stagger you need to tell people that for the next two years nobody can buy Longer than like that, I no tell you. There's no time to create mm. that stagger because of the heavy demand now. Right, right, yeah. right. So for it's Shams like, and like mm. Elvin, right, who was the one that brought up this conversation? Of proposal or staying together? Mm. Or Getting like, married. what's happening? Yeah. Are we forever? Like time. <laughs> oh, no, are are you forever? Forever? oh my god. Yeah. I don't know in the like, oh, previous <laughs> episodes, I did mention how we have quarterly review. Blue job weeks. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. That's that one monthly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so like... uh. I think a yearly review or some sort, right? Then I will ask him like, oh, stress. Where do you? Where are we? <laughs> where do you see where yourself are we in heading five towards years? now? Like, what's next, right? Is I, it a paper? I Got form one? Uh? Don't have, but preferably a form. Like, how more clear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but yeah. Also, we speak about we spoke about this, um, and at year what? Mm, every year also got one, got one review. No, but when no, was but that? He brought it up during this meeting. <laughs> 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 Is it he brought it up I during the performance up. review? Oh, so you brought it up. So yeah. you love him more. I mean, sure. No, she's, she's like more impatient. We are going to who's the real settler. Maybe you are the settler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could be. Yeah. You know you are. I'm oh, the richer. I'm the richer. richer. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, richer. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. So we, we talk about the whole... Um, should we stay together forever kind of thing <laughs> like is this next year are we going to get married next year or like when how old are we going to be when we finally plan our wedding like, it's so stressful <laughs> to be a guy because girls Why? always girls tend to have to be the ones with the timelines or like the hey hello that's because girls yeah. literally have, have a, a biological clock not, not with more. egg freezing <laughs> 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 this episode was brought to you by <laughs> no I think there's a greater social pressure than there is a biological clock I think the biological clock is sure, but it's not the main one. You I mean think like the social the pressure of a woman entering her late thirties yeah. is harder, and like and being single and not not married yet or whatever is more pressurizing than a guy. No, because yeah. men age like fine wine. No, no, but <laughs> yeah, yes, that. But also, you know, in China, they have this thing called the the leftover girl or the oh, leftover yeah. woman. Also. Where to find? <laughs> They're all above the D. Oh, <laughs> no wonder you've been learning Chinese. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. No, but as in, I feel like it's still strongly tied to uh, innate nature to need to reproduce though. Because when you have late, like 30 plus year old, above 35, mm. you start having higher chance of complications when you get pregnant. So it's ask true. the older woman here. Uh, <laughs> do you feel the need to to reproduce? No, I don't think our, I don't think we plan to have children. La. But if it happens, it happens, I think. Oh. I don't want to, just in case As in, his so family's watching. inside with no contraceptive. Uh. <laughs> That's Very okay. responsible. <clears throat> when we are ready, <laughs> that it might be possible. That might be possible. When we are financially ready. <laughs> so one day you look at the bank account during that, that uh, <laughs> quarterly review. Raw sex tonight! <laughs> 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 you can see the zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Were you honestly pressured by your partners a little bit? No. Mm. Be Maybe. honest. No. It's because they love them, okay? I, I, I think early on when we were first together, like I was 
I, I mean, we both were very young, so I was like mid twenties. I probably felt like at that point in time I wasn't ready, and so when we had conversations, also, um, I think it was. I wouldn't say I've ex- I exaggerated my readiness, but like it was more of like okay, let's let's see where this goes, lah. But I think by the time we were ready to get married, I was more than ready to be married, which was like eight years later. Lah. How do you know when you are ready to be yeah. married? Um, I think when you are in a position where you can feel like you are not the most important person in your life, your partner is. This guy. And I, there was that point of time where yeah lah, yeah, like we are we are one body. I'm, I'm my money is no longer my own, and like I'm willing to give up my life for her. Like would I? Jump in front of a bus for her, yeah, I would. Would I give up vital organs for her, yeah, I would. Jump in front of a bus, ah. Uh? A bit painful, lah. La. <laughs> I always think I could, you know, but then momentum. Like, do you think your body can stop? Then both, both of, your, of your both from of getting your run over. <laughs> Jump in front. Double the in case. between, like how be? <laughs> how does it work? Like, how does jumping in front of her? So, which if she's in front of a bus, by the way, what the fuck was she doing there to begin with? And then when you dive, right? So the pulling, right, will only cause her to be still within the bus radius of the bus impact. So by pushing, I'm on to technically further out onto the main road. Yes, a bit like Frogger. I'm technically jumping in front of a bus while pushing her, risking the fact that she might get hit by a, a car, car. But there she won't be any other buses because the bus oh, will be on the bus so lane. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought you, you jump in front of the no. bus. Why would we do that? Both that? Then, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't understand this. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and congratulations to Sherms. Well Although done. we might joke and banter with her, we do we are happy for her. La. We, we are very happy for, you, happy for yes. her. Congratulations. Oh, in the comments. Is that what people do? Yes, like, yes. share, subscribe, and ring our notification bell. Nice. Yay. Engage with us. Oh. Yes. Yes. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Honestly, I, I wanted this ring because it looked like the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. One ring. I want a gold ring now. Maybe I should lose it again. But in the same font type. <laughs> yeah, no, no, names. No. Yeah. Too oh, much. Oh, uh. in Elven font. Holy shit. And he shit. loves Elf. Damn no, no. Sweet. And it only comes out when like it's warm. <laughs> oh my god, it's the glowing. Yeah. Oh. You're talking about a mood ring. Uh. Is there anybody that can do this? <laughs>